Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Communications, Urban Infrastructure, Cities and the Arts, representing the Attorney-General. Will the Minister update the House on how the Morrison government's commitment to protecting the rule of law will ensure Australians are protected from harm? The Minister has the call. Uh, I do thank the Member for Ford. The Minister has, has the call. I do thank the Member for Ford. I don't think you're on. The Minister has the call. I do thank. Here you go. Member for Ford, who has a very strong commitment to protecting the rule of law, as do all on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, and that can be seen through the legislation that we've been taking forward in this term in government. For example, the Counter-Terrorism Legislation Amendment High Risk Terrorist Offenders Bill 2021, which establishes an extended supervision order scheme to ensure that terrorist offenders who are released into the community at the end of their custodial sentence are subject to tailored close supervision, or the Counter-Terrorism Legislation Amendment Sunsetting Review and Other Measures Bill, which provides for the continuation of key counter-terrorism powers, including control orders and preventative detention orders, and the Crimes Amendment Remission of Sentences Bill, which addresses the significant risks to community safety as a result of remissions being granted to federal offenders under state and territory laws. So these are all ways, Mr Speaker, in which we have demonstrated our commitment to protecting the rule of law, as well, for example, as the Independent National Security Legislation Monitor Amendment Bill, assisting the monitor in the performance of that person's role. Mr Speaker, and we're also very committed to the rule of law online. The rule of law needs to apply in the digital town square as much as it does in the physical town square. Yeah, and that yeah. is a principle yeah. that the Morrison government has been taking tangible action to give effect to. We passed the Online Safety Act uh, last year. It's now in operation, giving our e-safety commissioner stronger powers to crack down on cyberbullying, on toxic online abuse, on harmful content and on the non-consensual sharing of intimate images. All of these things are devastating to their victims. Uh, sadly, overwhelmingly, the victims, uh, particularly the non-consensual sharing of intimate images, overwhelmingly women and girls, and we have taken concrete action to deal with this and other scourges. And, Mr Speaker, we've also introduced the anti-trolling bill uh, to crack down on anonymous trolls making defamatory comments online. We've released the exposure draft of the Privacy Legislation Amendment Bill, aimed at protecting Australians online and keeping Australia's privacy laws uh, fit for purpose in the digital age. Mr Speaker, we are not stopping there because we know the online world is changing so quickly, uh, which is why the House Select Committee on Social Media and Online Safety is conducting an inquiry, and we will watch very carefully uh, the evidence and the recommendations of that committee. And, Mr Speaker, keeping Australians safe is a priority for this government. We're acting on that priority, whether it comes to our national security laws, whether it comes to keeping Australians safe online. This is a central focus of the Morrison government. Yeah.